Hi, I'm Todd with HVACPartsandMore.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a control board on a G40. The first thing you want to do is make sure the power is shut off to the system. After you confirm the power is off, you want to remove your thermostat wires. On this particular unit, there's only two wires. Some units may have three, some units may have five. Uh, the best thing to do is see what color of wire goes to what marking. White's going to W, R's going, red's going to R. Put those off to the side. Then you want to disconnect the board. The board has four tabs holding it in. One way you can do it is just pop the tab off, or you can crimp the tab down on the front and pull the board out. After removing the board, you want to install the new bracket. You want to make sure their arrow is facing you and pointing up. Once you have the bracket installed, you want to have your new board. And snap it in. At this point, you want to kind of do wire for wire. I like to start with my blower leads. Pull one wire off. Connect it to the board. And then you're going to do that with the rest of the wires as well. After rewiring the board, what you're going to want to do next is install the 3 amp fuse. The fuse is going to have a slot cut into the control board bracket. You slide it in, pop it in. The kit comes with a wire, which is not quite long enough from the transformer to the fuse, so I had to make made my own wire. What you're going to want to do is follow the blue wire to the back of the transformer, disconnect it, connect your new wire to it, then run that wire down to the fuse. Then you're going to want to replace this connection with a larger spade connector. Then you're going to connect that to the other end of the fuse. Now that we've reinstalled the fuse, what you want to do is put the cover back onto the furnace, turn the power back onto the system, and this board can be found at HVACPartsandMore.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.